the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Deuteronomy chapter 28, please. Give us from verse 1 and 2. I'd like us to read it together. Deuteronomy chapter 28, when it's projected and we can see it. Let's read together. Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. Ready? Please, let's read. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do. Take notes. To observe and to do. All which I command you this day, uh -huh, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above verse 2 and all these blessings. How many blessings? How many blessings? And all these blessings shall what? It comes on you because it comes from above and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Say obedience. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. When Moses died and the mandate was now transferred to Joshua, he was afraid because the people were a stiff-necked people. They were stubborn people. How would he lead such people? And a revelation was given to him. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, this is the formula, Joshua, for your success. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth please pay attention god is about to bless someone he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night don't stop there we stop there usually it says that thou mightest observe to do someone say observe to do observe to do all that is written therein for in doing it you will make your way prosperous and you will have a kind of success that the bible calls good success there is success but there is good success when the blessing of the lord make it rich and prosperous and adds no sorrow it is called good success the kind of success where you are up today and down tomorrow is not good success obedience obedience to what obedience to the voice of God obedience to the instructions that connect to the blessings you desire I told you that every dimension of God that we seek in this kingdom is conditional and there are principles and instructions that are connected please listen please listen you have to get this principles and instructions say after me please principles and instructions if it be thou bid me come and he said come an instruction and he got up and walked on water when they met him and said sir the feast the wedding in the Cana of galilee in john chapter 2 the wine is finished and there's this there's about to be a major embarrassment in this feast and he said fill six pots with water and when he filled six pots with water, he said, now you go and serve the Lord. That's a risk. If those guys got there and the rulers took and <laughs> if they fetched that water and it was water in their mouth, they would have killed those people. But at the instance of his word, they went. What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. One more time, water. He's turning it to wine. Just knowing that God can lift you in your place of work is not enough. 
just knowing that an anointing can come upon your life and set you apart is not enough there are instructions and there are principles having the readiness to judge all disobedience he says when your obedience is complete apostle i desire higher levels of the anointing there are principles that lead to it you must obtain the grace to be obedient apostle i want to increase financially in this season just claiming wealth will make you look foolish before the world respectfully speaking it's not enough to just say my god wants to bless me you must find out the principles that are connected to that dimension of god's grace there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. The Bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat. Are we together now? It says the gift of a man shall make room for him and bring him before great men. These are the principles that connect to greatness. Apostle, I want the nations to hear my voice. There are many spiritual principles that are responsible for that. One of it is an encounter with the prophetic. Go and read your Bible. Nobody rose just because they had intellect. There were times in their lives where the prophetic had to be introduced into their life. By this time, tomorrow, he said. There are principles. The challenge is most times believers know the outcomes that they desire but they do not know the principles that connect to those outcomes or they have not obtained the grace to be diligent and obedient in keeping to and with those instructions and with those principles i am passionate about knowing the instructions and the principles that connect me to the grace and the glory of God. You may have heard me say it, that every time the glory of God is revealed, the glory of God revealed is an attestation to the fact that his patterns have been kept. If you keep God's patterns, you will see his glory. We are here today celebrating the mighty hand of God upon your man of God and upon a prophet that God has given to the nations, not only because he is called of God but he can articulate steps of faith in obedience to the voice of God I thank God for the privilege that I had to, to participate in the process of this place in our discussion and, and I had the honor of watching prophecy unveil today we are celebrating what we, the glory of God but it did not just come because he's a man of God it came at the instance of obedience shout obedience disobedience is very costly if you know the cost of disobedience you will run away from it obedience the lord can give you an instruction for instance and say it's time to go to the next level of your life spend three days in fasting and prayer that's an instruction you may argue it and say god um i've not eaten well i'm just about to eat well before the fast and you know you see god speaks once it's your responsibility to hear twice Isaac, I know there is famine and other people are running, but stay in this land. This is your place of blessing. You can argue it. When God speaks, obey him more. When God speaks, honor him. Every prophetic word does not make sense till it makes sense. Every prophetic word looks like a mistake. Every prophetic word looks like an error until you see the intelligence of God play out through the pride of men. By this time tomorrow, and a foolish man would come and say, even if the windows of heaven is opened. Ah! And he said, okay, so that you will not die thinking God was a liar. You will see it, but you will not eat from it. I rebuke unbelief from your life. I rebuke the spirit of disobedience from your life. Hallelujah. Ask everyone who God has helped in ministry in business they will tell you a came a point came in their lives where they were divine instructions I'm not just talking of instructions written in scripture there are times God will give you unique instructions 
when those seasons come be careful because you will you will take advantage of something that will lift you to a new season or you will recycle your current season again years ago the lord gave me an instruction i've shared it a number of times to take a seed and take it to god's servant bishop david oedeko and i got up it was it was i'm not talking about money it's just an example it came that there are there are seeds where you give you know this is ishmael but there are seeds when you give you know this one is isaac you would die with your seed there these are not the seeds that you smile there are seeds that are called precious the bible says you weep while you are giving them and then i remember I came out and I was about to enter the vehicle to go and the Holy Spirit told me, he said, come out. He said, put your hand on that ground. I placed my hand on that ground. He said, from today you have entered the overflow anointing. Lifting does not just happen. I have to be honest with you because you see, believers are wonderful people and even though prophecy is here to help us, there is the responsibility of obedience, adherence to divine instructions go around jericho seven times once every day and then at the seventh time the priests in front with a shout and that blast of the healer the wall will come down that was the instruction you can invent your own strategy but it may not work imagine them going around quietly what are you doing obeying instructions Kali Parosiata. And for every time they obeyed, the spirit of grace is released. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit while you are obeying. Just because you don't hear any sound does not mean God is not moving. Keep obeying. God can give you an instruction and say for the remaining part of this year, every day you must pray for the man of God and his wife. It's an instruction. Oh Lord, but I'm already a prayer warrior. That's not it. An instruction now came from heaven. God can give you an instruction and say every month from that which you have ensure that you sow into the man of God and his wife you say Lord I've been doing it he says no you did that one as a gift from your heart this one is an instruction connected to the next level of your life believe what I'm telling you you are not being taught cunningly devised fables instructions and then principles principles obedience is powerful it is the game changer between people who become talkatives and those who become proof producers principles i know that god is able to lift i know that god is able to change I know that God is able to turn a man's life around. But just believing that he would do it will not solve the problem. Lord, what is the principle? He says, good master, what must I do to be saved? That's a rich man. Because he knows there is there's responsibility connected to everything. What must I do to be saved? What is my own part? Is God speaking to us? every dimension of the goodness of God you desire has conditions attached you must obtain knowledge of what those conditions are and then grace to obey thoroughly grace to obey thoroughly grace to obey thoroughly it is amazing the kinds of miracles that can happen in your life at the instance of your obedience. There are many of you, you shouldn't have been at this level if you had obeyed God. He gave you an instruction in 2014. You argued it and said, I will, I will obey. You see, the thing with life is life is a patient teacher. It will keep recycling your pain till you learn. 2014. This is the way out no 2015 again this is the way out no 2016 this is the way out no 2017 this is the way out today god is coming to you again how long will you wait when it is my desire to show you my goodness 
there are people one instruction they would have obeyed they would have been in their house now please don't feel bad i'm challenging you neglect to divine instructions can cost you more than you know for some it can even be a matter of life and death don't go this road obedience is very powerful i learned this as a principle if you learn to obey god if you learn to obey the word your life will become and remain a living wonder believe me when i tell you this i desire to walk in superior dimensions of grace and the anointing i desired it sincerely and i knew that it was in prophecy for me to walk in these dimensions but i knew that just hoping and wishing i would only waste my time and waste the time of a generation and i began to search what are the principles that govern the manifestation of the power of god in a man's life genuine authentic spiritual power and i began to find them i began to find them and i said lord grant me the grace it may not be easy but I, I obtain the grace and goodness i am grateful for that obedience because you see many people wait to eat from your obedience obedience is powerful the benefits go beyond you are we together i came here this morning lending my voice with your pastor to let you know that if god has done this for this church then it's time for your own life to reflect it you cannot be in a ministry that has been so greatly helped by god and then remain the same the testimony from your life is what gives credence to the anointing that is upon this house no it's nobody like you lord Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. You must pray and desire the grace for complete obedience obedience to divine instructions and obedience to scriptural principles it's not only principles you need there are things in your life only instructions will bring please hear what i'm telling you and for some of you god will be giving you instructions for some of you the prophet of god will come and instructions will come be diligent to walk with instructions when people go to meet a herbalist i want to win an election or i want to be promoted to the highest position usually he does not share principles with them you say all right what you want is a possibility he will first search the realm of the spirit you say give me two minutes and he will search the realm of the spirit and say i see that there is space for you you don't say thank you sir and you walk away you are waiting for instructions we have enough intelligence to know that you do not go to the devil and just say i'm aware now that there is vacancy what is the instruction and he will tell you all right for this kind of miracle you want i'm not a foolish herbalist i've been doing this work for a long time so if you are not ready there are some instructions that are so hard they will first ask you are you willing you watch it in nigerian film you don't have to go to a herbalist praise the lord do you have the stamina to obey this this kind of instruction and you say i'm that desperate you say all right number one your son is coming here ah you said you are ready okay number two you are going to bring a cow number three you buy a bag of rice number four you bring a million naira can you do all of this let me think about it say okay i give you two weeks it's your business you are the one who wants the lifting and the man goes to think about it he compares the pain of the instruction versus what he wants and says it's worth it he would drag his son drag the cow drag the money and then the man will laugh and say finally and conjure some things the man returns back and not even you 
except you are a believer you will not be able to stop that man because reality is his obedience was part of the ingredients that went into that charm it's not just what they mixed his in, his obedience also came as an ingredient and all of a sudden you find out that a director in the office is acting as though he's not in his right mind promoting a man who is not qualified anyhow and the man is just laughing at people anyhow and he said oh dear you don't know the price and then some ignorant person will come and say i assure you we are going to have a board meeting and bring you down then he remembers his pain and says you are joking you don't know what happened in the secret you don't know the gravity of obedience that sponsors this result his confidence is based on what he knew that he did so there are times that god will tell you you want a supernatural ministry it's for the taking and it is a reality in christ but there is a price to pay are you willing here is the anointing to heal here is the anointing to prophesy you see we live in a generation where we want everything free it's not true let me tell you sincerely there is a spiritual price for dimensions in the spirit as any businessman they would tell you customers are free but bringing them to you is not free For some of you, it's the price of prayer to return back to the secret place. While others are sleeping, he will wake you. No, not for the kind of anointing you want. The kind of anointing you want, praying one hour, praying 30 minutes, praying once a week. No, sir. These demons will kill you as if you don't exist. Where are you going? I know what I'm pressing towards. For some of you while others are sleeping god will wake you and say open that scripture begin to study because of the kind of ministry i'm giving you for some of you god will cause you, you will buy books that are taller than you and you will sit down and god will say read every one of them because the kind of businessman i want to make out of you there is something there is there is a species of of kingdom wealth i want to bring out of you obedience there is a price behind exploits in the kingdom there is a real price a price of diligence a price of death a price of surrender a price of giving your all abraham you want to become father of nations take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him upon a mountain he was willing to take that risk the question i have for you is that what price are you willing to pay in partnership with the holy ghost apostle i want a crowd in my ministry you may be saying i want god to bring people from everywhere my brother and my sister it takes more than greek and hebrew it takes more than eloquence and oratory you may have all of that and be surprised the same way you have all the provisions in your store and yet customers will not come because the customers are not just bodies they are spirits am i boring you I'm opening your eyes to a real spiritual principle that when you handle you see that's why many times when you talk about great people they don't even respond to you it's God that will punish you the altar of their sacrifice is also a disciplinarian it can bring order to your life he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying you do not know how this man became my anointed do my prophets know how hallelujah I desired a grace in my life that when I speak over people's lives it will become as I have said I said is, is there such a grace I found it in the life of several people from history from scripture the Bible says for Samuel pastor said that none of his word what kind of a man is that do you know how much of a blessing you will be if everything you say upon people comes to pass but I found out there was a price a real price and I said whatever that price is I obtain grace from God let's go for when you find that grace now you can tell people be blessed they will say amen as if they are joking and come out with their hands on their head and say what was upon my life when I left
there is a price look at the price that politicians pay during election they travel to almost every local government almost every state healthy or not tired or not are we together they sweat around morning afternoon evening that is the price it takes to be a governor or a president or whatever it is no matter how capable you are you will not overcome that price you have to pay it Jesus grant that my sons will sit at your left and your right Jesus would have said wonderful what a mother and what a good request he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism church is quiet I hope your silence means you are meditating on what I'm saying not that you are saying why did he say this I wish I were lying but this is no lie it is the truth there is a real price there is a price for favor huh. there is a price for favor it is not every dimension of favor that is unmerited mm -mm. if you have that theology you are going to be disappointed there are dimensions of favor that are very merited in fact the only dimension of favor that is unmerited is favor that reveals itself as the saving grace and even that dimension you must verbalize your reception today there are people going to hell even though Jesus Christ is still Lord because if they do not open their mouth and show their interest and believe him as a savior and as Lord they will still go to hell favor is beyond saying I am favored no there are conditions Proverbs 13 and verse 15 is one of the principal conditions that govern favor Proverbs 13 and 15 it says good understanding brings favor it says but the way of the transgressor is hard dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline